What's going on YouTube, Fez of Fire Media. Before we get into it, make sure you guys smash that subscribe button, road to 200k to support the channel. We've actually got the video where the girl's responding to what I put a video up about yesterday about a girl taking money from the video shoot at Fredo and Central Seas video. Hi, I'm Alika Cleopatra, and earlier on today, uh, Fredo tried to slate me on his IGTV and apparently now it's in the blogs. So this is going to be my reply. I'm going to say it one time. I'm going to get it out of the way because I don't do the social media BS back and forth and then I'm going to be done with it. So prior to this event, I've worked in this industry for about five years. So five years working in the video, video modeling industry, I've earned a reputation for myself and for my agency. And, you know, I've never had any incidences from the ages of 18 to 23 i've never had any incidences in working in this industry before and i believe that everyone that i've worked for in the past can vouch for me. so we had just got done shooting a money scene and i believe freddo and central c asked all of the models to start stacking up money off the floor because we were going to be shooting another money scene so i've started stacking up money i've stacked up money on my in my hands and left it on the side i've also stacked up money and put it in my waistband my intentions behind stacking the money in my waistband is when we're throwing the money in the next scene we can when i run out of money in my hands instead of having to pick it up off the floor or on the sides i can go into my waistband and carry on um because i know that can look suspicious to some but those were my intentions so um i needed to go to the toilet take in mind that we were drinking um we were all tipsy we were about five four or five hours over time or behind time and you know the shoot was a bit of a shambles like they only fed us a sandwich all day like it was a mess so i've gone now and walked up the stairs to go to the toilet um, a man as i'm going to the toilet comes up to me taps me on the back and says you're stealing and me being really offended by that you know i get upset and i start laughing at him and i take the money out of my waistband and i throw it the air and i start laughing at him and then i go to the toilet um after i come back i if my memory is not jogging me i remember it being central c coming up towards the stairs as i'm coming down and saying you bitch you're stealing <sighs> they told my manager that i stole three grand initially and that i had a bulge in my trousers i wouldn't walk from the back of the bus past 15 20 people with a bulge in my trousers past everybody like i i'm just not that stupid i wouldn't do that um fredo is now saying that it's four grand that i stole i don't know where that's coming from i also don't understand how you can count three or now four grands in the space of a couple of minutes of that event transpiring and call my agent and tell her exactly how much i stole i mean to me it feels like a setup but what do i know um i ended up getting into it with i think there was about four or five guys onto one me and they're calling me out of my name totally intimidating me like telling me to get off the bus me i'm livid i'm not backing down and so i'm giving it right back to them I end up getting off the bus, there was a video taken of my body, of my bags to show that, you know, and it showed that I didn't have any money on me and then I was sent in a cab home. To be honest with you, they know that there should never be that amount of money at a shoot or even real money because it puts everyone's life in danger. If models are not trusted with money, then, you know, anyone could make a call to come run up or God knows what could happen. Um, furthermore, like, if you were that upset, then why didn't you do anything at the time? And furthermore, if I am actually a thief, then why did you pay me? Like, it's like it's all promo. They basically refused my agency any further action moving forward from this situation and didn't want to deal with it. Now, all of a sudden, weeks later, Fredo's brought this back up out of the blue and you know, is trying to bully me, basically, on his Instagram. Like, people will literally do anything for some streams these days, and it makes me sick. As a father who has a daughter, I expect better. You know that people take their lives over stuff like this, 
and I have seen firsthand how situations such as these have affected the people that I've worked with. In fact, I'm glad it was me rather than someone else not as strong. In my mind, I've written this down, in my mind, I'm thinking to myself, is this what we've really come to? Where we have to bully, put people's mental, emotional, and possibly even physical health in danger for some streams. Your streams over my safety and peace of mind is a trade I am not willing to make. Even now though, I wish you no ill, because I could only imagine what you must be going through mentally and emotionally to resort to something like this. And so I pray for you. Moving forward, we can deal with the situation properly, like adults, and how it should have been dealt with from the beginning. Um, we can start a police investigation as to what transpired that day and um, yeah, further it through that course of action. I actually thought she was gonna keep it short and sweet, but she didn't. But what's your thoughts on this, guys? Comment below. On her reasoning behind putting stuff in her pocket, she was going to the toilet and we're keeping it for the next scenes and stuff. What do you guys think on that? If you haven't seen the last video where Fredo was calling this girl out, I'll leave a link to it in the description. That's it for this video, guys. Peace out.